Hi everyone, welcome to Weed and Secret. We've got a delivery for you today. I got a ton of um, colours from Easy Colours quite a few months ago and I haven't even tried them yet. So I thought we'd do a video today and just open them up and uh, see what colours we get. So I've got just a clear glass here. I've got a big jug of water and then I've got another empty jug at the back where I can just tip um i can tip the used water we're going to put a little bit of water into the glass and what color shall we start with so we'll start with this end i've got aquamarine now when your colors come in powdered form like this they can be a bit messy as you can see all i've done there is literally just touch the container um, it does make a mess, so make sure we, you wear some gloves. So, I think we need to be... I think we need to be a little bit closer. So, literally, I'm just going to dip the end of this spoon into the powder, and then we're going to put it in the water so you can see what colour we get. So, that's the colour that your bath water is going to be that is absolutely beautiful so let's just pop the lid back on that one pop it to one side let's tip that colour out I'm just going to give the glass a wipe out and then pop some more water in there and the next colour I'm going for is the orange CI40215 as you can see they're very concentrated and you literally just need a really tiny amount so that gives a real rich vibrant orange and I haven't even stirred it all in the next colour we're looking at is the hot pink it must be a seriously messy job mixing up all these colours this container is really really full to the to the top that's your hot pink I think if you you might be better off dispensing the powder into a larger container uh, because as you can see around the top here that's all overflowing with powder I just know even from using micas um, so look at all of that and it's literally just a dribble on the worktop Even just from using mica, I've learned not to fill my containers, just half fill them, uh, the containers that I actually store my micas in. I leave uh, them in the packets that they come in, and then I just dispense so much into the container. So the next colour we're looking at is the yellow number five. So we need some water first it's a beautiful bright yellow isn't it like look at that one it's just crazy so next we're going to try the midnight blue
Ooh, it is as well. That's the blue I was looking for. Gorgeous. The next colour we're looking at is Emerald Isle Green. I love the look of this on the website. It looks gorgeous. Again, I've bought two containers of that. I, I did place two separate orders, you see. And obviously I forgot what I'd ordered in the first order. And some of them I've ordered the same again. Uh, so I've got two containers of each. But how beautiful is that? That is literally like the Emerald Castle. So the next one I bought is Granular Black. Because um, it's granular, granular. Not sure how this one works. I have had granular colour in the past with my bath bombs uh, from a different company and they're a little bit difficult to dissolve but, but we'll just put a couple of grains in there. It might be that you need actual hot water to do this but oh no it's definitely changing. It's like oh so you'll probably need quite a lot of that to make it, actually, no. Um, now it's nearly all dissolved, so it's a really, really, really beautiful deep purple, but it actually is almost black, isn't it? Gorgeous. So we've done Midnight Blue, now we're on to blue number one. Very nice. They're all going to be gorgeous in the bath water, that's for sure. Next up, we're going to try the teal, which I'm told is one of the, well, it is the best mix of teal anywhere. Oh yes, absolutely stunning. Now, apparently the black cherry is not for bath bombs, uh, but we're going to do a colour sample anyway. So this will be good in soap. I can see that the black cherry it's actually sticking to the spoon a little bit. I mean it doesn't look that bad but yeah it's not dissolving so maybe there's a better way to dissolve this than straight into the water or maybe it's just yeah I think it just takes a little bit longer to dissolve than possibly the other colours do. So I'm guessing the reason the black cherry isn't good for bath bombs is because it's probably going to stick to your bath. This is like a melamine spoon and you can see it's already stained it. So I'm guessing it's probably just good for soap that one. Well, we've got amethyst left and violet so we'll do the amethyst first. Again. I'm told this is the best blend of amethyst that you can buy. Ooh, wow. I put probably a bit too much in there. Shall we have another go with a little bit less? It just shows how powerful it is. I'm not even going to dip the spoon in the colour, I'm just going to, no, 
I need to need to dip it. Just take a tiny little bit. There we are. Wow. That's just so magical that colour, isn't it? They're all beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous they are. Now for the violet. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, that one. Okay, so that's all our colours from Easy Colours. As I said, this will be the first time I'm actually using e Easy Colours. But I have used water-based liquid dyes on many occasions in the past. Uh, what I always did though is I actually bought them in, in the powder form and then I created a liquid into a, into a bottle like this and it seems it's better just to leave them as a powder. Um, seems like you get better colour that way. I think what I've done is I've watered these down a bit too much so uh, there's too much water in the bath bomb uh, for it to work properly. Maybe if I'd pre-mixed them and only used half the quantity of water it would have been better but, um, um, but this week we will be using the Easy Colours to make some bath bomb embeds that's something I've never done on my channel before uh, so stay tuned to watch that and um, hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe like and share we are doing a series a playlist um, on DIY bath bombs from scratch or I've got another playlist called the Bath Bomb Diaries if you prefer that one. That's a playlist that'll be um, that'll go literally from adding all of your ingredients and then making a bath bomb as we did a couple of weeks ago without any colour. Then we did a bath bomb with mica and we're going to do flat bath bombs next and then we're going to make embeds for bath bombs and eventually we'll go all the way through to making bath bombs with embeds in uh, that make bath art which it seems to be the most popular thing now all right everyone i'll see you all very very soon for another video from eden's secret thanks for watching